Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, the kids and I decided to try to connect north end of one mountain to the south end of the other mountain without touching any pavement. Well, needless to say, that didn't quite work out. As we got further and further along the trail, we were noticing more and more washouts, each washout getting more and more aggressive. So unfortunately, after all that driving and exploring, it was right about here when I discovered during editing that virtually none of the footage captured from this trip was usable. I made a rookie mistake and tried to use Amazon memory cards as opposed to using something a little bit more quality, and I paid the price. I have sent it off for data recovery and hope some of it can be recovered. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you for the remainder of the video with an install ahead scheduled for the next week. Hey guys, a bit of a different video that's coming at you this week. Uh, we got a little bit of an unboxing slash install. I'm going to be installing something that I've wanted to put on here since I got the Jeep really. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open the back of the Jeep up and show you what we're going to do here. Alrighty, this is what we've got here. Wait, wait, what? What are you guys doing in there? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, we've got a uh, Ericsson uh, hitch mount cargo carrier. We're going to uh, build and mount up on this bad boy. So let's get at it. There you have it. Kind of what I'm after there. So I just didn't want to put my propane tank and barbecue and everything on the interior. I wanted it on the exterior in case a leak or something developed. So yeah, this uh, overall is very simple. I mean, instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Build quality seems to be pretty good. All the welds look pretty decent. I mean, only time will tell with how it'll stand up. It's not like I'm gonna be doing some really hard wheeling with it on there. But uh, basically it'll get us to our campsite, then we can unload this, take it off, and go about our business. And with this, it actually allows us to put uh, my kid's dirt bike right on the back. Because we were having that conversation of what we're going to do. So, yeah, this is, uh, is going to work good. And so 40 pounds, it adds 40 pounds, which kind of sucks adding 40 pounds over the back of the Jeep. But like I said, it's not like we're wheeling with it like that. So it's going to work out good. The only negative thing I can see is uh, I can't open the rear tailgate. It hits the rack, but I mean that can be solved with one with a lower with a lower side. But I personally wanted the five-inch side just to be able to, you know, kind of snug stuff in there a little bit better. So yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with the way that worked. And I mean, with a 500-pound capacity, it's more than enough weight for us to be able to put the dirt bike and bikes and all that. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.